The poll body has concluded the preliminary conference on the petition for cancellation against the COC of presidential aspirant Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. today. Comelec spokesperson Director James Jimenez says both parties were given time for the amendments of their respective position and for clarificatory matters. Ang pinaka general areas na pinag-usapan ay number one, yung statement of the issue in which uh, both parties uh, were given the opportunity to say kung ano yung formulation ng issue uh, according to their own uh, opinion uh, based on their own uh, based on their own appreciation of the case and then amendments and stipulations Jimenez added, the COMELEC has yet to schedule the filing of memorandum by both parties due to pending incidents or issues needed to be resolved. These are the petition for intervention filed by the group of attorney Howard Calleja and the motion for the conduct of face-to-face -face oral arguments by the Marcoses camp. After the incidents are resolved, then the COMELEC will say uh, how long uh, it will give the parties to submit their respective memoranda. However, the case may be ruled before the release of the final list of candidates in the 2022 elections in December 15, 2021. Meanwhile, some progressive groups flocked to the COMELEC this morning before the preliminary conference started. They urged the poll body to resolve the pending cases against the former senator immediately. Marcos should also not be allowed to participate in the upcoming polls for allegedly being a convict. Uh, nandito kami ngayon sa harapan ng Commission on Election para ipanawagan sa COMELEC na i-resolve na yung uh, motion for early resolution ng uh, pinail naming petition for disqualification ng November 18. Even Imelda Marcos convicted eh. Seven counts. Diba? Malinaw naman na nakinabang sila. Ginagamit nga nila yung kanilang nakaw na yaman para makabalik sa poder at ponduhan yung kanilang kampanya. Recently, Marcos's camp disclosed that the petition will not prosper for lack of legal basis. Dante Amento, UNTV, News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.